The box in this problem slides down a frictionless ramp. The ramp is one and a half meters long, and the box starts from rest, reaching a speed of two and a half meters per second at the bottom. Part A asks us to find the ramp's angle of inclination, theta. We'll start solving this problem by drawing a free body diagram of the box with mass m. There are two forces acting on the box. Its weight, which is directed straight down as always, and the normal force, which is perpendicular to the ramp. I'll draw the ramp's surface here with the normal force perpendicular to it, and we'll let the x direction be down the ramp in the direction the box is moving. So the components of the weight look like this. The ramp's angle is theta. So this angle is also theta, as is this one and this angle. And now we can find the components of the weight when we need them. Newton's second law tells us that if we add up all the forces in the x direction, it equals mass times acceleration in that direction. There's only one force with a component parallel to the ramp, and that's this component here that I'll circle in red. It has a length of mg sine theta, and it's in the positive x direction, so that force equals mass times acceleration. We can solve for the angle theta that equals the inverse sine of the ratio of the box's acceleration to g. If we knew the box's acceleration, we could solve for theta, but we don't, so we need to find it, and we can do that using kinematics. The time-independent kinematic equation gives us an expression for the square of the box's final velocity in the x direction, which is down the ramp. The box starts from rest and moves through a displacement of d, so its acceleration is v squared, the final velocity squared, divided by 2d. Substitute values to find that its acceleration is 2.08 meters per second squared as it slides down the ramp. And this number we can substitute back into our previous result, finding that the angle theta is 12.3 degrees. Part B asks us what speed the box would have reached if a 10 newton force opposed its motion during the slide. The only change we need to make here is to add one force, we'll call it F, to the free body diagram opposite the motion, so that when we sum forces in the x direction, we get mg sine theta, the same component as last time, minus this new force F that's opposing the motion, and those sum to the mass times acceleration. Solve this for the acceleration. and substitute all the known values. That tells us the acceleration of the box with this new force acting on it is 0 0.838 meters per second squared. Now we can do kinematics again and find the speed at the bottom. Using the time-independent kinematic equation, the displacement is still d, the initial velocity is still zero, so we can take the square root and substitute values, finding that now the box reaches the slower speed of 1.59 meters per second.